1953 to 1987, the water supply at the Camp Lejeune Marine Corps base in North Carolina was contaminated with extremely high levels of toxic chemicals. In response to this contamination, the federal government has directed a number of public health agencies to study and evaluate the impact that this contamination had on the long-term health of Camp Lejeune residents and employees. In 2016, a special committee of leading experts from the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies published a report for the Veterans Administration providing guidance on what diseases and health conditions could be connected to the water contamination at Camp Lejeune based on reliable evidence. The findings of the VA committee report were based on public health research on the Camp Lejeune water contamination, including the extensive studies performed by the ATSDR, which is the investigative branch of the CDC. One of the most significant conclusions made by the VA committee was that there was sufficient evidence to indicate that Parkinson's disease may be associated with exposure to the water at Lejeune. The VA committee made this conclusion based on evidence from four different sources, which included the ATSDR mortality studies, which used data from over 150,000 former residents and employees of Camp Lejeune. The link between Parkinson's disease and the Camp Lejeune water is also supported by animal testing on the specific chemicals that were contaminating the Lejeune water supply. For many years, the victims of the water contamination at Camp Lejeune have been blocked from bringing civil lawsuits. Now, however, Congress is on the verge of passing a lewd law that will give Camp Lejeune victims the right to bring claims for their injuries. If you lived or worked at Camp Lejeune from the 1950s to the 1980s and were diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, call us today for a free consultation.